Deer 12, 9.13 a.m. Most of the housemates are still asleep. Ruler is in the diary room. As winner of the boxer's task, Big Brother rewarded her with the pants of power. If Ruler wears them at all times, they'll have special powers for the nominations that take place later today. How much longer I have to wear them? Or is that a Big Brother secret? Big Brother will keep you abreast of everything you need to know, Ruler. We're getting very baggy. George, Michael and Pete are in the kitchen. That T-shirt, it's... Uh, you Do know, you it's love like, it? It's like totally, Look, totally amazing. it goes into a small dress. Do you like it? That's... I, I, I have to get out of here. It covers my those, like, right now. I'm gonna, have, my... I'm gonna have a word with Big Brother. He's gotta let me out to get one of those T-shirts exactly the same. I, I cannot live another day without a T-shirt. It covers my lady bottom. <laughs> I, I, your lady bottom? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed if anybody sees my lady bottom. I, I, I think I gain weight. I'm bloated. I'm, I, I'm, I'm on the cotton pony. I gain a little weight, you know. Do you know Andrew Malala Fatang Fatang Ole Biscuit Barrow FC FC No. Oh well, he's so fabulous. Do you? He's from Persia. I, I, I he's Persian. Look at your shoes. Do you love them? Do you see, they're balletic. They make you walk like this. Oh God, I'm so depressed. I'm. Isn't that so clever? They look like ordinary shoes, and when you walk, you walk balletically. Isn't it incredible? Michael. Look. Do you love it? Oh, he's so cute. He never says anything in the mornings. I know. I believe that he communicates. Spiritually. <laughs> You're fun. You're so funny. Oh, it's just so fun. You're so funny. Hi. Whoa. It's so out there. I love it. Thanks. George, where did you get that piece of toast? It's totally amazing. <laughs> oh! Oh my God! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Nine fifty-nine a.m. All the housemates are awake. Get, give me that back. Give me back. What are you going to do? Give me back. Oh, what are you going to do? I'll oh, fucking show you what. Give me back. What are you going to do? I'll, I'll give you one if you want. Will you? Give me the cigarette. Don't get your phones with cigarettes. Don't find your cigarettes. I can't. I'm not going to root through everyone. You ain't having another one. If you don't find those cigarettes, you have smoked them. I did not fucking smell them. He saw someone take them. Then you're responsible for them. You can't, no, no, you can't do all that. You can't go on about the way you did about the cigarettes. Have this fucking cigarette and shove it where the sun don't shine. You don't mean that. Don't do your drama queen bit on me. It might work on the straight people, but it doesn't work on me. Wait, wait, wait. just do it over here? Today is Preston's 24th birthday. Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to Preston! I tried to make your card, but it just went all wrong. Hey, Preston? Yes, mate. It's gonna be a good birthday for you, but you remember all the shit you was doing last night? What? Standard. You were from that point, walked, walked over here, and hugged her. Yeah. And your hair yeah. was on the pass the whole time, and the camera caught the whole thing. No, Preston, it didn't. I'm... Don't let him wind you up. Hold on. Do you believe me? I, I wouldn't be surprised. Worst things have happened, do you know what I mean? You had your hand on her ass. No, I never no, had it. No, I never. George? Yes. I called you over there last night. What was he doing? <laughs> you, you had your... Yeah, he had his arm wrapped around her. No, no, no. Your hand on her bottom. I never no, did. I never. I never. I never. I'm not lying. <laughs> I called him over there and you said squeezing her ass like this. No, I fucking no, never. No, because I'm in the chair. That happened? You didn't. My brother's in the chair. No, I never. Grabbing her and kissing her and everything. Oh, shut up, grabbing me, kissing me. That was the way. Thank you. It went, no, I never. Kissing me. I sure did. Oh, I shit. Remember, I'd remember if he was kissing me. He did it. Oh, dear. 12.12 p.m. Most of the housemates are in the house. No. We'll you know what? I failed my MOT on last time because it didn't have a locking petrol cap. But that differs from car to car. That's not... Well, it, apparently now, because of the, the danger being it was explained to me that if the car tips or turns, ah, it's right. an added fire risk. Right. And it has to be a petrol cap that actually locks. locks. Not with a key, no. but it's one of those, oh, you know, okay. clicks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Pete and Dennis are in the bedroom talking about Ruler. I'm very good at observing. I can see the look in her eye and the scowl on her mouth. And I know that if I was to stay and I get nominated, I know she's going to be the first to nominate me because she thinks I'm impolite, rude, I take too much time in the bathroom, I'm messy, untidy, and she's getting right up my nose. And she makes me want to walk out there with my cock out. She told me last night, right here, that she, she, um, she wanted to leave. Oh, she wants to leave? She told me last night, right here, that she said that. She said that I'm... Um, Emotions and this, 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 and certain things that so I have no problem to leave in here. I, I wouldn't mind leaving. No, why doesn't she? She was asking me this morning, when are you leaving? What time are you leaving? Why can't you do it now? And I was saying, because it needs administration and legal advice. And she's going, I mean, you should be able to do it right away, right now. And she was so happy, she had a wet patch underneath her. It's actually turned into a really great soap opera because it's got a cast of characters and it's great to observe them. But I keep, every time she looks at me, she never even passes a comment. She just goes, That's why I say I don't, wouldn't be surprised, Pete, if you'd be the last person here. I would not. Well, they want me to stay. And I ain't talking about to say I wouldn't be surprised just because what's. What, uh, Look, Dennis, I know I make good television even absolutely. from a visual point of view. I know. I know. I see it. They've not had this much fashion on British TV. Mm. <laughs> well, if you look at the ride up. One fifty-five p.m. Most of the housemates are in the living room. A few minutes ago, Dennis told Faria that he would not bother her anymore. I don't understand what your comment was about. I don't understand what you said to me. Just said it. Just no, you said it because you think something. Could you have a preconceived notion? No, it's not. Just that... start winking over there. <laughs> Nothing. No, nothing. No, why did you say it? I want to know why you said it. Let's do it out there. Is no. it to be provocative so you can get me to react to something? Because no. you're getting me to react. Because it's even, working. No, seriously, I'm not trying to react. I said, I'm not going to bother you. If, you think I'm, if, I, if I thought that I was bothering, it's more like saying I apologise. I was saying all these so things. You to haven't you. been bothering um, me. This, this, okay. this is so funny. We, You're just, we just silly. We just, cleared, we just cleared it up. And I said that the other day to her. I said he's he's the sweetest guy, and he's just funny. No, we have no we have a problem then. We've never had a problem, but you're making it into a problem I'm, because I'm, you brought it up. I'm, and I need to question it because I want to know what you're getting at. Uh, I think you just quest because it's kind of more like a, a conversation piece. That's it. So you did it just to, as a conversation piece? Not really. I mean, but you're making a conversation piece. Oh, Dennis. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you're a silly boy. OK. <laughs> 2 14 p.m. Big Brother has gathered housemates in the living room for today's nominations. The two or more housemates with the most nominations will face a public vote. Big Brother has told Ruler that the power of the pants will be revealed during nominations. Chantel is the first housemate to nominate. Go on. Here, baby. Stab two people. Oh, don't say that! You know. <laughs> Claw your way to the top, kitty kitty. Oh, <laughs> oh that's wrong. <laughs> Hello, Chantel. Hi. Please, could you give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Yeah, my first nom um, nomination is going to be Dennis. Basically, I think he's a snake in the grass. Um, he just sort of watches and observes and he's just being really crafty and I can't have a drink without him watching me pour the drink. I had a bottle of wine the other night by there was nothing in it except a tiny little drip and I just went like that with a bottle and he's like don't drink out the best of bottle. He says he's got a maid and I think he's just probably used to be like you know make my bed you know wash the dishes cook my dinner. My second nomination is going to be for Michael. 
<clears throat> the reason why is because I think maybe he's got some sort of military style of like um, treating younger people that, you know, even though I'm older, I can talk to you how I like and you've got respect, like whatever, what it, like anything I say. I respected him anyway until the point when he turned around and started shouting and, you know, screaming and saying this, that and the other. You can tell when he's getting angry, you can tell his eyes like go wider and wider and wider like that. And that's why I think he thinks he can fly off the handle because he thinks he's in charge. Thank you, Chantelle. You may now leave the diary room. Thank you. It's different this week because we could, we could hear it. Oh, really? No oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> <Just Shut up. laughs> uh -huh. Was it any easier? No, not any. Probably harder, if anything. You need a hard nose, hard tits. <laughs> You've got oh. such a cheek. You haven't even seen my babes. Your country seen your boobs. This is Here we go. Brother with Dennis come to the diary room. Oh, it's Dennis. Big D. Dennis! Dennis. <laughs> old man Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Just keeps rolling. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I would say Chantel. I think that she's kind of lost here more or less than anything. And I think that she's just been overwhelmed by what's going on here. I just think that, you know, I understand that she missed her mother. I, that, that's understandable as a young young woman. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, when you keep saying it every day, every day, every day, every day, it's very difficult and hard for, for other people here to kind of see, you know, a young kid like that, you know, that's, that's overwhelmed and shocked by the situation that she's been put under because she needs to f find her way, and he, this is not it. Now, could you give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Uh, I say Rula. I think Rula is mostly broke down. I think that the mentally that she came in, <clears throat> in into the house expecting certain things, and... Um, I think that over the course of the um, 12, 11, 12 days, I think she's uh, have experienced uh, uh, a weakness of uh, desire to focus on her objective. Certain individuals in the house, well, not to name any names, I think I've rubbed her the wrong way. And <clears throat> I've said to her time and time again that I say, you're too intelligent, too important to your craft and to your art. So that's my pick for Rola. I'm no just saying it would be so much nicer if one could nominate people that one wanted to stay, well, even if it was only two hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least it's not a negative like thing, then. Dennis, Michael, Chantel and Ruler all have one nomination each. Perea is next to the diary room. We can't nominate ourselves, can we? I would like to nominate me, Faria. Housemates are not permitted to nominate themselves. This is so hard. Um, I nominate Pete as my first nomination. Uh, the reasons being... Um, that he has got me angry several times. He's been rude to me several times. Yesterday, when he was being obnoxious, when I asked him to stop smoking in the bedroom, and uh, I walked away before I began to swear at him, really, because I was at the point where I wanted to blast off at him, and I didn't, because I thought, I'd better just walk away. His mood swings are often uh, something to question. My second nomination is Dennis. We just got into something stupid out there today. Um, and maybe that was the reason. I don't know, maybe he, it was, in, you know, he provoked me to come to this decision. He just said, just to let you know, I'm not going to bother you no more. Well, sometimes he does bother me. The odd little comments, I don't mind, and him messing around or whatever, I don't mind. But that just gets my back up, really. Uh, and it has. And it's really annoyed me. And he's just got me angry. And I'm very angry at him at the moment. There she is. 
Here we are. I've been smiling your face all the time. I'm gonna take your place. The back side. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no,
Michael, Chantel, Tracy and George all have one. Pete is next to nominate. My first nomination for eviction would be Ruler. I think Ruler's going through a kind of crisis in her life and I don't think this is a suitable place to address it. It was a great place to confront it, but I think she's hit it. And it leads to her being quite cantankerous. I wouldn't say she disliked me, but I think she's read me completely wrong. And I don't think she likes being around me, and she was delighted when I requested to go. I just think she thinks I'm gross, vulgar, trashy. My jokes are filthy, my mouth's filthy, my clothes are exhibitionistic. I wish her well, but I wish her gone. My second nomination would be Chantal, because she hasn't actually done anything. She's just bluffed her way into celebrity status, which is the climate of today. I know she's like in her 20s, but I relate to her as though she's 15. And it's kind of difficult because she doesn't really know what's going on out there unless she's also acting a role that she's a dumb blonde. If she's going to have a romance with somebody in the house, it shouldn't really be with somebody who's already got a girlfriend waiting for him on the outside. And she's so naive to all of this, how things look. I think Big Brother hatched her out of an egg, that she didn't have any existence in the real world previously to this. Now then, now then, now then. Oh, did I ever tell you about the day I nominated Big Jagger? I cut to the chase. Can I have a drag on your cigarettes? Do you do you I asked if I could go to the cold. bedroom and get the cigarettes, and they said, no, you can't, the door's locked. I said, if it's OK, if I break the door down. I thought you smoked all your cigarettes. I did. I'm bumming them now. What business is it yours? Are you the fucking cigarette police? Who designated you cigarette police? <laughs> Just because you've been in fucking rehab doesn't mean you can sit up there on your fucking throne. Passing judgment on everybody else. <laughs> yes, yeah, so what? I've smoked them all. No, 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 no. This is the same person. It, it, it's, well, it'll be, up, it'll be, it'll be totally charming when he wants another cigarette. Oh, yeah. It'll be about three or four or five minutes' time. Do you think sucking dick's giving you some superior intelligence? No, it's giving me pleasure. Thank you. Next question, please. Next to the diary room is Preston. The first person. I'm going to nominate today is Tracy. I think she's detaching herself from the group a lot and kind of sitting on her own and, and not really getting involved. And then when you try and talk to her, she has that, that kind of California, hey, no, I'm fine, like that. And you, can see, you just think, well, no, you're not. You don't have to tell me you're fine when you're not. I think it's a career move, do you know what I mean, for her, ultimately. And whereas some people have been honest about that, I think she's just finding it hard to be uh, how she's decided that she wants to be perceived in here. She's finding it hard to keep that act up for so long. I think my second nomination is going to be Dennis. He's kind of removing himself. And, and he's, he's just sit, sort of sitting there and, and watching everything happen and making little comments. And, like, me and Chantel last night were getting on really well and I had a lovely time and I go, we had a little cuddle and everything. At, at the time, I hadn't even thought, even though it had been said, I hadn't thought about how it would look and, and everything. And he'd just been going on about it all fucking day. Man, mother your girlfriend going to kick you in the face or whatever, he says. And it's like, well... I hadn't even, that hadn't even occurred to me until he started saying it. I mean, it had occurred to me, that's not true. And it's just, it's doing my head in a bit, but... So that's my reason for nominating him. Dennis and Faria have three nominations. Chantel, Ruler, Pete and Tracy all have two nominations. Michael and George have one nomination each. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Would Tracy please come oh. to the diary room? Huh? What about Ruler? But Ruler? I'll just go and maybe correct her. Maybe she... No, don't love spell. Oh. Uh, That's a bit weird. That is an error, or they just... Stand up in the toilet. Amazing. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What about Ruler? 
Well, it is. There's something. Something to do with the pants of power? Yeah, they would be. Uh, yeah, it might be. I wonder yeah. yeah. if you're the one that chooses who he goes. Oh, that'd be oh, well harsh. God. That would be even no. worse. No. That's the worst thing. It might oh. be that there's a tie. Yeah, pants of power decides. Oh, yeah. power oh my decides. God. Yeah. You need some headache tablets oh right God. now. <laughs> Let me take you by the hand. Hello, Tracy. Hi, um, Rulo was before me, as, or do you or do you know that? Or does it not matter? Please, could you give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? My first nomination is George. He personally uh, offended me in a, in a major way with my argument, my, my spat with Dennis last night. And he had said, uh, you were very, very, very rude to Dennis last night. And I said, wait a minute, that's sort of what we do. And, and, and Dennis has been far more rude to me than I have of him, and he didn't see that. And when he made that opinion, he didn't, it felt like he didn't know what he was talking about. There's other times when he referred to you know, my country as, as, as being bad or the president of my country as being an idiot. And although he's been very complimentary at the same time at times, the bad at this point is sort of out, outweighing the good. Thank you, Tracy. Now, could you give the name of your second nomination? My second nomination would have to be Michael. Um, the reason why I choose Michael is because um, this sort of vegetarian thing and meat carnivorous thing is sort of starting to wear on me. And yesterday he'd made a comment, well, sort it out yourselves, you vegetarians. It hadn't been a big deal to me until today. Uh, when I realized every time I wanted to get in the kitchen and cook, cook for everybody, so everyone's happy, so there's no argument. I feel as though Michael will not let me do that. Dennis and Faria have received three nominations and will now face the public vote. This is going to be so funny. I'm going to spit my veneers out with laughter because you are the shitty jobs committee. That's why you've got the hot pants. <laughs> Four forty PM Ruler is the only housemate who is not yet nominated. After winning the boxes task, she received the pants of power. Big brother told her that the pants power would come into effect during nominations. Hello, Rula. Hello. Rula, as you know, you are wearing a pair of very special pants. Yep. The pants you are wearing are the pants of power. As the keeper of the pants, you will now be given some information. Rula, the housemates who face the public vote after nominations are Dennis and Faria. Ruler, with great power comes great responsibility. You must now nominate one other housemate to face the public vote. To clarify, the housemate you now choose will definitely face the public vote, along with Dennis and Faria. Could you now give the name of the person you want to nominate and explain your reasons for that nomination? I nominate... Pete. He's very high maintenance and although he is undoubtedly the most colourful member of the house, he is very unpredictable. If, if I am brutally honest as well, there is very little that he, do, that he does as part of the team to keep the running of the house going. The situation in the house is not, nor should it be, conducive to one or other person demanding more than anybody else. You are now free to discuss the power the pants have given you. 
if you so choose. However, you must not discuss nominations. May I now remove the pants of dubious power? You may now remove your pants. Thank you. Do I leave them in here? Bye-bye, pants. Bye-bye, ruler. Bye-bye, thank you. Let's I'll be talk about there. how um, like the great. sky, the mm. colour is just oh, no, so vibrant. Oh, it's yeah. yeah. Well, the weird thing is, oh, here comes Ruler in Seattle. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. 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 There was not a present prize. What? Is that what you said, right? I can discuss it if I want to, but I don't have to. Don't if you don't want to. I see. Well, just, uh, and I don't really think I want to. It was not a pleasant power, I'll tell you that. Yes. And it wasn't what you thought. No. Would you not think it's fair on the group that they understand? OK, if you want. Mm. Apart from the two people who were nominated by the group, I had to nominate a third. Oh, Christ. As well as your two. Did you nominate two and another and another one? No, the Just two one. that were nominated, I had to add one. Right. Some fucking prize, huh? So do you know who's that Why would that upset you? Because I know who they are. Oh, you know, you know who they are? The you know who they were. are? Yeah. Are you allowed to tell us? You're not? Yeah. No. But will we know who you chose as a third no. person? Because we won't know that. No, so we won't know that. You don't so that doesn't make it much. Don't make worry it about much. who you chose. Don't worry about practice, it. In practice, it doesn't make it any different. One of us would have had to do it. It's only a game. One of us would have had to do it. And then I said, <laughs> can I take these pants of dubious power off? And there was a huge fanfare when I took By 36 p.m., some of the housemates are at the seating area. I told the others last night a story that Mandela told me about in prison when he was sentenced to 27 years. Mm -hmm. When, as soon as they arrived on Robben Island, he gave the order to the others in the leadership that everyone had to stop smoking. And they asked, they asked him why. He said, because a prisoner with a tobacco habit is a double prisoner. Yeah, nice the warder has the key to the jail, but he also has the key to your tobacco. Mm. So we're not going to give them that extra power. And so the whole leadership, and that one of the reasons why they were so healthy through the 27 years, is they didn't smoke. Faria and Dennis are in the kitchen. The only reason I'm not talking to Tracy today, the hmm? reason I'm not talking to Tracy today, why? I just hate that phony act that she puts on from everybody. I hate that shit. Yeah. Why do we have to be labeled? Why do we have to be labeled as Americans? We are equal to like, Oh, shut up. <laughs> they don't hate Americans here. No, I'm saying, but damn, girl. I can't wait till the final day. So that, like, final day, like, everybody get together. Mm -hmm. I really speak my fucking mind. I speak my mind when I get angry. I want to say it. No, you pissed me off earlier when you asked me that stupid question. Or you said I, I, that stupid I, 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 statement. How the fuck did I piss you off? Seriously. You pissed me off because I thought, what the hell was on Do the same thing to me. I was like, okay, great, man. Oh, I just want to tell you, I don't, I'm not going to bother you no more. What the hell does that mean? Well, you must like me then. For you to react like that. What's the liking got to do with it? Of course I like you. Okay, I'm great. Like in here. I like everybody in here too, but I don't want to sleep with them. And who says I want to sleep with you? I'm just kind of throwing out there. No, don't throw it out there because you. What? Why? What gives you, or any, impression that I want to sleep with you? I have no clue. Okay, well then, keep it. Keep it that way. Because you have no clue. Watch it. 6:26 p.m. 
George, Ruler, Preston and Chantel are at the seating area discussing Pete. He was on form today, wasn't he? Is he still going to go? Changes from day to day. I mean, yesterday couldn't wait to get out. Is that true that he's still waiting on? The... No, I think it's all a big. No, act. he's staying. He's staying. He's staying. He's decided to stay. Yeah. Oh. Faria, Tracy, and Dennis are in the living room. Do you do you feel that? Oh, maybe it's just me. What? No, I feel like oh, I've upset the whole vibe of the house. You haven't at all. I mean, actually. that's why I, I just. No, you know. Tracy, it's, 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 you're absolutely wrong, actually. I wonder if, if, would it make a difference if there was a Chinese person in this house or a, or a, a Russian person or a. Interesting you say that. Because to be not singled out, but. I know exactly it feels what like you're it's, thinking. It feels like it's two against eight sometimes to mm. me, and I think, not no, with no, all no, due no. respect, but I'm talking no, no. as far as Americans versus yeah, British yeah. people, and it, I know what you mean. It's just kind of like. And then also, again, maybe, I don't know, I think too much because there's really not a lot to do. <laughs> the thing is, this is a, it is a game, and, not tr and you do lose sight of it very quickly and, and start taking it personally. And then if you sit and don't say anything, that's a whole other issue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you, oh, get out. <laughs> oh, I'll get out. Why are you... You're not staying right here, right oh, no, now. I, actually, really, I was coming out here to get my Did laundry. you just tell her to go? I said a word. Oh, he didn't say anything. I just... Oh, I don't believe it. I guess because I haven't eaten, I'm paranoid. <laughs> Bye. Did you tell her to go? I didn't say a fucking word. She looked at me and said, I better go. You know the real story behind that girl? When I used to date Carmen and everybody else, and whatever... She used to hit on me so much, I mean, right in front of me, I mean, directly right in front of me. And when I wasn't with Carmen, she'd do the same. She'd been doing it for fucking years. Well, maybe she wasn't hitting on you. Maybe she was trying to be nice to you. All right, whatever. I, I, if you, have you listened to how she talks? Yeah. Towards me? It's always, oh, Dennis, Dennis, Dennis. It's always just like, it's always Dennis, Dennis, Dennis. And I don't even do shit to him. <laughs> Nine thirty eight PM Housemates have been provided with a mods and rockers party to celebrate Preston's birthday. Big Brother has asked them to stage a dance off in either their mod or rocker character. I don't know what the fuck to do. Just jump okay, around. just think of the food, big man. Just imagine you got a bowl in your place. This is Big Brother. Would Rocker Dennis please rock on? <laughs> Well done. I, <laughs> I need to valium. him. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, this is wicked. This is Big Brother. Will Rocker Ruler please rock on? Come on, Ruler! Fucking Rockers! <laughs> Drop a strap! Magnificent. Brilliant. <coughs> Just channel Tina Turner. Oh, yeah. Keep that leg on tight. Hold the uh, top. Think of the eye cats. 
<laughs> George, a whole lot of House of Commons is watching. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, George. Woo, he's giving us that Elvis. <laughs> I'm looking for something special for you. No, I'm getting a different this record. This is Big Brother. Will Rocky George please rock on? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Watch your head for replacement! <laughs> Dialysis in 50s! <laughs> Swing that colostomy bag! <laughs> Go on, Joe Jay! Joe Jay! Joe Jay! <laughs> Ten nineteen p.m. Dennis, Preston, Maggot, and Michael are at the dining table. Much more. I haven't laughed as much I, in, as I have in this house. I haven't laughed as much in the rest of my life. Same here. Literally, in the last two weeks, I've laughed more than the rest of my life put together. No exaggeration. That's cool, isn't it? Last night you laughed a lot. <laughs> you had a good laugh last night. That's cool. That's cool, cool though. I feel healthier because of it. Yeah, best yeah. medicine. It really is, though. I feel like, especially with it. Good medicine. Oh! <laughs> Black man? No. Oh, no. It's a match. <laughs> <laughs> It's really difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, Say I um, go on a. Yeah. Yeah. It's difficult. You can go on every No, but but if 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 you didn't, you didn't know, well, that's he wanted to make sure of it. Yeah. 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 make sure of it. Yeah. But, but the thing about but yeah. is that he's been searching forever to find that, and from what I was told. Yes, but you sense that. You don't no, it's not a sense. It's it was it was a direct conversation oh. about way early, like instantly. <laughs> Of course, I'm well, I'm sure. No, no, no. Obviously, before all this. But I've never had a thing in my age. He's, he's, he's the right age. Oh, I know that, yeah. But he's 30. He told me. Oh, really? Uh -huh. But I don't think. <laughs> I haven't found someone that could really appreciate mm -hmm. what the power and the strength and the stability. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got some for you. I got some for you. Oh! <laughs> I got some for you. What I'm going to do for her? Put it on the table. Put it on the table. I have a bunch of sushi made all over and eat it. Ah, I told you. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. 1.01 a.m. Some of the housemates are at the seating area. Faria and Tracy are in the bedroom. Hey, Dennis. <laughs> Dennis, it's all good. Don't worry about it, baby. <sighs> Jimmy tonight. I'm sure we'll come talk to you. What do you think of today, though? Well, it was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> it's fun? Yeah. It's all right. It's all right? It's all right. What do you think? I had a great time. What's we going to start? Yeah. <laughs> I thought the time was five. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that. 
No, I'm going to bed. Say, look at you. Good night. Wait, bye bye, Shaka. Dennis, Berea, and Pete are the housemates who face eviction from the celebrity Big Brother house. Who goes? You decide. To evict Dennis, call 090-1-32-33 or 2. To evict Faria, call 090-1-32-33 or 3. To evict Pete, call 090-1-32-33 or 8. Or text the name of the housemate you want to evict to 84444.